before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello friends welcome to entry i'm your quant educator and today i will discuss the state wise vacancies for sbi apprenticeship so you can have uh, information you can have information regarding the state wise choices okay so let's go and you know that uh, around 8500 vacancies have been released for sbi apprenticeship examination and you know your examination will be conducted in the next month or the after the next month okay so it is an important exam you cannot afford to miss this all right so let's move on and let's see what are the vacancies like first of all the total vacancies have been given as 8500 and among 8500 you will see around 3595 vacancies in general category you are means unreserved economically weaker section will see 844 vacancies while obc will see around 2000 you can say 1948 vacancies scheduled tribe and scheduled caste combined vacancies will generate around 2200 okay so i'm giving i have given approximate value all right you can add these values and you'll get the answer of the finally uh, launched vacancies okay so these are the vacancies around 8500 vacancies have been released and it's a huge opportunity you cannot let it go because why most of the aspirants are asking sir it is just for three years okay what will we do after we did not get the extension you you cannot get the extension why because it is for apprenticeship exam but it will provide an opportunity for a young aspirant to uh, to uh, apply for all the banking examinations with an additional benefit so it is an additional benefit which gives you stipend as well all right i have already told you the salary for first year second year and third year okay so what you can do is just join this after getting selected and if you got selection in any of the examination, whether IBPSPO, SBIPO, SBI clerk, IBPS clerk, you can leave this job and join it as a clerical level or a PO level or whether specialist officer. So these are the things. Don't let this opportunity go because you know that <coughs> there will be only one exam and a hundred questions will be there for one hour. But one subject will increase and that subject is general awareness yes the lots of questions lots of queries have been generated about the level of the examination so the level of the examination will remain easy for this one because it is an apprenticeship exam so you can compare this examination level with a clerical level exam okay clerical level exam so it's just a matter of time uh, you get selection okay it will be a good thing for practice as well so don't do not think much and just fill this form and join it according to the state vacancies okay so let's go and have a look at the state wise vacancy <coughs> you uh, you can have a look <coughs> at the gujarat cadre look at this in Gujarat, you will see a total of 480 vacancies. In Gujarat, you will see a total of 480 vacancies. Among 480, you will see 198 as unreserved category, while 129 as OBC and rest of them are below 100. Okay. From Southern region, yes, you know, you should know that you must have a knowledge about Gujarati language. Okay. Look, uh, in the Andhra region, in the Andhra region, you will see 620 vacancies. While general and OBC are above 150, rest of them are below 100. Karnataka region saw 600. So the southern region saw 1220 vacancies combined in Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Lots of more states in south, uh, southern region. So MP saw 430 vacancies. Okay, 
and Chhattisgarh saw 90 it is comparatively low but you don't need to worry about it those who are willing to join this apprenticeship exam must fill from their own state okay because they'll have to go to their go to the individual uh, respective state if they get selected <laughs> yes one more thing they will have to face the language issue as well west bengal west bengal saw 480 so eastern region saw 480 while odisha saw 400 so the eastern region saw 880 vacancies okay if you include chhattisgarh you will see 970 vacancies combined all right let's go and have a look at himachal pradesh himachal pradesh 130 vacancies haryana the ncr region we have seen we will see 162 while punjab saw 260 so the combination will see 420 vacancies around 422 okay now the next one this another southern region tamil nadu saw 470 vacancies so southern region have seen lots of vacancies in the coming days okay Pondicherry, Delhi, Delhi saw 7 vacancies, Uttarakhand 269 vacancies, 269 is not a small vacancy, okay. Telangana, Telangana is also a southern state and uh, I believe 460, so uh, what we have seen from this analysis that southern region might have the maximum vacancies, okay. Rajasthan have 720 vacancies so mp and rajasthan combined are above 1100 vacancies kerala kerala have 141 vacancy okay uttar pradesh have seen the maximum number of vacancies look at this 1206 so it's a really really good news okay but remember lots of aspirants will definitely move to uttar pradesh from bihar and from Haryana Delhi because their long their language will be common okay while Maharashtra saw 644 vacancies okay but nobody will be able to apply unless he or she knows Marathi Arunachal Pradesh will be a good thing and 25 vacancies and Assam have 90 vacancies so we have seen several changes we have seen southern states goes beyond 1500 vacancies and up alone provided 1206 so these are the data of sbi apprentice vacancy 2020 look at this manipur another eastern region saw 12 vacancy meghalaya 40 mizoram 18 nagaland 35 so combined you won't see 100 vacancy okay tripura 30 but bihar saw 475 so UP saw around 200 and 1200 and Bihar saw 475 and that makes the total 1675 okay Jharkhand saw 200 vacancy so uh, if we combine UP Bihar Jharkhand we will see lots of vacancies in the SBI apprenticeship exam so there are only two uh, two region one is the southern and the second one is UP Eastern or Eastern region. Okay. We have seen lots of vacancies in these two segments, these two region. So these are the analysis of state wise vacancies. I hope you all have understood it. Okay. But remember, whichever state you will choose, you have to know the local language. If you don't know that local language, you might not be able to get selected. Okay, that's the only thing. So I hope you all have understood it. So best of luck for your examination. I all, I want all of you to work hard. We are, cre uh, we are constantly providing you live classes recorded classes on our banking 2.0 youtube channel so don't forget don't forget to subscribe this one and one more thing do not forget to press the bell icon that bell icon you can press it on and if you have understood this session just like and share it at once
Till then, thank you. Keep watching Entry.